Shalom. Shalom and welcome. Welcome to White Roads Family. This is part of the Judgment Warnings and Instruction Series. My brothers and sisters, I want to create, I want to give you a set of stage, so to speak. There is no doubt that uncertainty is swelling among us. There's no doubt that there are frustrations, doubt, and confusion circulating. My brothers and sisters, the scriptures tell us not to worry, but we are to be mindful of the signs of the times. We are to walk filled with the Spirit. We are to seek to discern and understand what the voice, the living voice of the Almighty Father, Yahuwah, sent in Yahushua's name is saying to us. In this installment of the Judgment Warnings and Instruction Series, I want to bring your attention to the importance of sight, hearing, and belief. And I put the word beyond excuses. You see, excuses will not be a band-aid. Excuses will not be something that allows us to be lazy and slowful and neglect what is being ordered of us. Let me paint a picture for you. If you search the scriptures, it speaks of the word as water. We see where it's written, washing of water by the word. We see that in Ephesians. We see how it is important to know that the scriptures themselves kill. Because if one trying to teach, preach, or live the life by the text alone, confusion will result. Why? Because the Almighty Father is not in that. Why? Because the scriptures have been tampered with. We must discern what the Spirit of Yahuwah is saying, for in spite of man's tampering, they, not, they cannot tamper with what the Almighty Father is saying to us through the text and through us one towards another. Here is the first example that I like to paint. A glass. If you had a glass with some fluid in there and you couldn't see what's in it, how much can that help you? How much can that glass be of assistance during end times? If you had a glass with water in it, but the glass was cloudy and dirty with rocks and sands and sticks in it, how much would that be worth to you as end times ramp up and fresh water becomes a need? If you had your choice between a crystal clear glass with clear water fresh water, wouldn't you draw to that more? Hold that thought. We read in scripture how the washing of water by the word, and we read in scripture during the end times in the seventh chapter of Revelation, it mentions those with white robes whose robe was washed in the blood of the Lamb. So we can see the word wash, and, and, and I want you to be mindful of this, my brother. So we can see the word wash used to clean, to purify. Now, my brothers and sisters, as end times ramp up, I say to you, the things that divide us will come to an end to those who will be gathered from the four corners of the earth. The things that cause us to, us to be divided will be purged from our midst if you are one who is obeying the Almighty Father and participating in the final exodus and more. So I say to you, my brothers and sisters, when you look at someone, let's look at, first of all, the name. Since the scriptures say there is no other name in which one can be saved except for Yahushua Mashiach. I want you to understand this, my brothers and sisters. 
all the different names of saying, this is how we say Yahushua's name. This is how we say the Almighty Father, Yahuwah's name. This is the methods in which we magnify he who is the Almighty One. Look at everyone and how they're projecting it. And you got some that say, well, however you pronounce it. I'm not going to get caught up in that. I say to you, heed these words. Look at everyone who is using different names and, and different ways of pronouncing it. And look at what they're presenting to you as it relates to end times on what you should be considering doing. What and how you should be governing yourself during these final days. Who's filling your cup? Who's present to you a more clear glass of water? Or if we were to use it as the washing, as I was speaking, what about cleaning solution? If you took some dish soap or any kind of soap and just put a little bit, let's say a drop, a gram, into a 20 gallon container versus a cup or two, which one you think would clean the clothes or the body better? The one that offers a more quantity, quantitative amount of cleaning solution? The one that has more cleaning solution or the one with the little gram or little dot? Here's what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters. As we interact with one another, we can continue to go on in a compromising position. We can continue to say, oh, we got excuses. We can continue to hang out in compromising camps. But I say to you, my brothers and sisters, consider this. Unity will come. And I can assure you, those who can see, whose sight and hearing and belief are reflective of what is prophesied will be those that are drawn together. With that said, let's get into why this is part of the judgment warning and instruction series, my brothers and sisters. But before that, let me read the following. Warning and disclaimer. The information contained in White Rose family represent instructions and warnings to individuals who believe they are drawn by the all by the almighty creator Yahuwah to Yahushua Mashiach, I'm referencing John 6, The content presented centers around end time realities. Please be advised the site is not intended for children under 16 years of age to be compliant with various media platforms. By continuing forward, you agree to hold seminar harmless of any influence in or actions that arise as a result of watching, listening, and or viewing the content presented. The views expressed do not reflect the owners, management, and or shareholders of this media platform. Please note, I am not affiliated with anyone or organization with similar names. With that said, sight, hearing, belief, beyond excuses. Are you ready to begin to think about, no, pray about, and discern the tasks that are assigned to you Oh, Yasharal, are you? Consider these things, my brothers and sisters. As we move into end times, as uncertainty ramps up, and before I get more into some content here, I want you to understand this, my brothers and sisters. This is a time we, we must begin to identify leadership, set apart leadership. We must begin to think about what it is the Almighty Father is saying to you, the one in the mirror, to me, to us. We must begin to understand why we must vet, we must examine ourselves daily, as well as those in whom we come in contact with as it relates to this set-apart life. Come with me, my brothers and sisters. Sight, hearing, and belief. Let's examine different questions important for sight, hearing, and belief. 
What comments do you have regarding a clear glass versus one cloudy or dirty? Do you know that in some cases our actions when we hang out in compromising communities, camps, fellowships, and groups, when we know that someone is wicked and wrong, but we don't know anyone else? I've heard somebody say, well, this is, I searched for community, but this was the best. Nobody came close, so I went with this person. That is not what the scripture tells us to find what comes close. Let us seek out the community, the camp, the fellowships that provide endless instructions, endless life, endless water of the word coming to us clearly, not lifting up one person or other, but lifting up Yahushua Mashiach, one that is precise in the name, my brothers and sisters. A clear glass of water. Is that what you desire? The anointed water of the word of the Almighty Father. How would you feel about any form of communication that you could not hear clearly? In other words, if the audio was muffled or if there was echoes and if, there was, if the music was louder than the speaker, if things was happening where you could not hear clearly, what would you do about it? When you can't change the situation and environment and circumstances, it is best to leave if you can't get clarity on what a person is saying because it's too much noise. Do we not see that happening now among Yasharal with brothers and sisters showing what the wicked is doing and, sh and magnifying the conspiracy theories, whether they're true or not, and talking about how the, this organization or that organization is coming against us? Where is the focus, O Yasharal? How much time are we spending on what the wicked ones are doing versus what we should be doing? Trying to defend what the wicked is saying about us? Where is the wisdom in that, my brothers and sisters? Do you find it hard to discern the voice of the Spirit of Yahuwah? I submit to you, my brothers and sisters. Sight, hearing, and belief are critical. Do you have a lot of unanswered questions? Come with me as we continue. My brothers and sisters, no, belief is needed to experience excellent sight and hearing. In other words, in order to have excellent sight and hearing, there must be belief, for there is much that the Almighty Father will reveal to us and show us that we must be mindful of. Hebrews 11.1, 1, and I speak of it often. And belief is the substance of what is expected, the proof of what not seen, what is not seen. For this the elders obtain witness. What are our leaders, our mores, our teachers? What are they seeing? What do they believe? What are they sharing? What are they teaching? Are you satisfied with your more, your teacher, your community head? Are they equipping you with the words that you need, the instructions that you need, the direction that you need, in the event that they should pass, or any event you are separated from them? Are they reflecting the importance of lifting up Yahushua, discerning his voice? Remember, Hebrews 11:6 6 says, But without belief it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to the Almighty One has to believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. Yasharal, O oh Yasharal, end times are here. What do you see, and do you see it clearly? What do you hear, and do you hear it clearly? Let us continue. My brothers and sisters, Proverbs 1 7 say, The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of knowledge, fools despise wisdom and discipline. Discern detail and processes needed for seeing and hearing, my brothers and sisters. And I can assure you, for us to gain the knowledge that the Almighty Father will have us to possess, to navigate through end times, we must fear him first. And in fearing him, here we find ourselves pausing, praying, listening, seeking to discern what he has to say, seeking to discern his response. 
It says fools despise wisdom and discipline. You see, my brothers and sisters, there's a lot of distractions in the midst of all this noise. And believe it or not, he who magnify the distractions talking about what the wicked one is doing and conspiracy theories and what's wrong and what may be true and may not. He who spend time magnifying the distractions instead of focusing and discerning what the voice of the Almighty Father is saying is demonstrating their lack of wisdom and discipline. Proverbs 14, 26 say, In the fear of Yahuwah is strong trust, and his children have a place of refuge. Make no mistake. Now is the time to begin thinking about refuge. And where would that refuge be? Do you know how to examine the things that stir within? Do you know how to identify? Let me present some more questions. Oh, Yashara, critical questions. Trust. Answers exist, my brothers and sisters. And all that is occurring, what are your expectations? Are you discussing them with others? Who will you be amongst? How will you determine the leaders? Where will you be positioned? What lifestyle changes are necessary? How will you determine priorities? What methods will be used for adjusting and adapting? What do you see? Hear and believe, O Yasharal. My brothers and sisters, when you ask these questions, these questions can be akin to things that are motivating us, you. Asking questions is a means in which we seek answers, seek guidance. Now consider current conditions. There are benefits and consequences to the decisions we make. Soon, my brothers and sisters, the words too late will echo frequently among us. Soon, my brothers and sisters, spending time on hindsight will begin to shrink the need to focus forward and look straight as it states in the fourth chapter of Proverbs. I mention that often. Eyes being straight, eyelids, eyes being forward, eyelids being straight. Not going on a rule of left or right, but going on a rule of what is right, what is set apart, what is the Almighty Father Yahuwah directing us to do. There are benefits and consequences to the decisions we make. Are you prepared to be among those who say, oh, I'm too late? Or will you begin to look forward, my brothers and sisters? Understand what it is to focus. Let us begin to measure how much time are we spending on the past or what other people are doing or trying to defend what people are saying about us. How much time are we spending on that versus discerning, checking ourselves, examining ourselves, yielding to the living instructions from the Almighty Father? For the benefits and consequences of our decisions are before us, O Yasharal. Let me present some more questions as we move forward. What are you being taught? Do you know what to do during these last days? Do you really know the details? Are you really prepared? Are you prepared and equipped? What will you do if you find yourself alone? When you discover the final exodus is taking shape, then what? Are there discussions regarding details and actions needed? Do you really know how to examine things correctly? Yasharal, oh Yasharal, end times are indeed here. We cannot run from it. We cannot stop it. We cannot put it in reverse. End time demands that we improve our sight, hearing, and belief. 
least we find ourselves going astray. Let me read 2 Timothy 2, 23. It says, but re refuse foolish and stupid questions knowing that they breed quarrels. I ask questions, my brothers and sisters, questions that if you discover and dis if you discern and discover the answers will build, Yashir contribute towards the building up of Yasharal. Questions that just fuel arguments with no end goal of set apartness visible. These are stupid and foolish questions. How many of us are spending time arguing and debating on whether the world is flat or not? How many of us are spending time and debating on whether there was a group of individuals created by the Almighty Father before Adam and Eve? How many of us are spending time on wondering what the wicked ones are going to do to bring this one world government together? These are questions let us come away from and focus on what is the Almighty Father saying to us? How many of us are frustrated because we don't know what tribe we're from? Know this, those who are to fulfill the 144,000 will discern and find it confirmed of what tribe they will represent. 12,000 Hebrews from each of the 12 tribes of Yasharal totaling 144,000. They will know. And those of the great multitude of many nations, kindreds, and tongues made one by Yahushua Mashiach will know that the ultimate banner is Yasharal. So the tribe, the ultimate banner, the ultimate tribe will be Yasharal. Do not be frustrated in trying to discern. Titus 3.9 says, But keep away from foolish questions and genealogies and strife and quarrels about the Torah, for they are unprofitable and useless. Strife and quarrels, my brothers and sisters. There's a way in which we will come into correction. The chosen leaders will execute judgment. And the Almighty Father will confirm those whom he has chosen to teach us correctly, to bring about the information that is needed for us to be bound together in unity and love according to all that the Almighty Father has promised. Proverbs 8, 17 say, I love those who love me and those who earnestly seek me do find me. Seek. We begin to ask questions. That's a form of seeking. And when we seek, let our eyes be prepared to see. Let our ears be open to hear. Let us have a ready mind and body to believe. Matthew 6, 33 said, But seek first the reign of the Almighty One and His righteousness, and all these shall be added to you. Yasharal, O oh Yasharal, there are actions we must take to grow strong and set apartness. Let me continue. The 12th chapter of Hebrews. Some of you probably say, he talks about that too much. We cannot escape discipline. Oh, yes, we're all. Prepare to witness individuals whose sight and hearing and beliefs improve as we find ourselves yielding to the discipline of the Almighty Father. Hebrews 12, 7 through 11 say, and if you endure discipline, the Almighty One is treating you as sons for what son is there whom a father does not discipline. But if you are without discipline, of which all have become sharers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. Moreover, we indeed had fathers of our flesh disciplining us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they indeed discipline us for a few days as seemed best to them, but he does it for our profit so that we might share his apartness. And indeed, no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but grievous. But afterward, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Yasharal, my brothers and sisters, hear these words. 
prepare the witness. What is regarding, what is regarding good sight, hearing, and belief. Prepare to witness those who will rise up, directing us as led by the Almighty Father, Yahuwah, and Yahushua's name. We will begin to understand the fullness when Yahushua said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to myself, as mentioned in John 12, 32. It is he, as we magnify his spirit within us, as we manage these earthen vessels we know as our body, it is he, my brothers and sisters, Yahushua, that will bring us to where we need to be. And we will discover that he works in us, through us, one towards another. And we will improve as discipline ramps up. Yasharal, oh Yasharal, my brothers. Now consider your position in coming demands. What do you believe is demanded of you? Are you doing it? Are you preparing? Do you know the difference between discerning the voice of the Spirit of Yahushua and leaving everything behind versus being ordered to carry the supplies and resources that he has given to you? You see, Different individuals will receive different instructions, O Yasharal. And if you're just trying to mimic what you see someone else doing, you will fall short. Just as people are saying, come out of her, my people. Yes, we are to come out of these metropolitan areas. That's the beginning. Even as you build communities, the time will come in this hour where earthquakes, wars, civil unrest, economic collapse, will cause those who envy and jealous and are jealous of you in a community to, to converge on those communities. And believe it or not, O Yasharal, you can have all the guns, all the weapons. You can be prayed up. Every one of us will be displaced. Forced migrations is coming. There will be some communities that will be safe zones as people journey towards the exit points of each prospective country. As it relates to the Western Hemisphere, I believe the state of Virginia is the exit point for Yehuda and other tribes and all those who are called and chosen for the, from the Almighty Father by the Almighty Father to fulfill the final exodus. Communities will be, there will be communities that will be safe places as people are journeying where you can stop, fuel, and rest up. But ultimately, my brothers and sisters, the Western Hemisphere will become uninhabitable. I've presented a, a series called The Closing Scroll. Watch as wars and rumors of wars, as famine and pestilence, as disease and plagues, as earthquakes, as meteor showers, as destruction comes, the world will be displaced. Populations will face forced movement. The wicked and the set apart. For the set apart, our journey is to the true Mount Sinai, currently known as Jabal al Laws. Hear me, O Yasharal. Proof is coming. Will you be among the recipients of the words too late? Or will you be one who is prepared and is responding as the Most High is directing? Yasharal, make no mistake, set apart leaders and messengers will rise. You may be one of them to direct, to serve, to distribute, to guide. Some of the things we will witness is there will be more battles, mores against mores. We will see that, my brothers and sisters. Teachers against teachers, fighting within. Why? Because there is division within. Many of these communities, camps, fellowships, 
have different cliques where people say, well, I don't agree all with what the pastor says. Or I don't agree at all what the bishop says, but I'm hanging out because this is the best I can see. So I'm going to hang out with them. That's not scriptural, my brothers and sisters. Discern what the spirit of Yahushua is saying. We will begin to see massive deaths among those who are mingled with set apart children. Leaders, teachers, mores, pastors, bishops. Some will soon face physical death to be removed because they are obstacles in the way of the path that the Almighty Father has for his children that he will gather. Judgment begins at the house of Yahuwah. And when that judgment comes, there are the obedient, my brothers and sisters, who are executing judgment, who are bringing correction. And for those who resist correction, reproof, for those who fail to repent, they will be removed, O Yasharal. The time is now to begin to say goodbyes to some who have stepped in the way of what the Almighty Father. The time is to witness some who will change positions. They may still be among us, but not as a leader. And there will be the leaders who will yield to correction as they are physically and mentally weakened. There are some leaders that will rise up strength, strengthened and renewed by the power and might of the Spirit of the Almighty Father, stronger than ever before. We must be able to identify such and we must prepare for what is to come. Understand this, O Yasharal. What do you see? Define what you see as it relates to the Most High Father working among you, me, us. What are you hearing? Discuss these matters. Pray on these matters. Embrace the belief. For there is much that we cannot see the evidence yet, but soon and very soon we will, O Yasharal. Yasharal, there are many hurdles. Many hurdles before us. Challenges and hurdles to consider as force movement comes. Current and final gatherings that will be merging from one group to the next. Identifying leadership. Changes in leadership as we merge into larger groups how leaders function with other leaders, how leaders will yield to other leaders, and how leaders will take up more responsibility. There will be structure, O Yasharal. The time is now to ask yourself, what is that structure? How do I yield and respond with accuracy? Managing resources and supplies. I talk about lifestyle changes. There'll be time to ration resources and supplies. There will be times when we see our eating habits will change. Let us begin to talk about the realities of what we will eat, what we will drink as we journey, how we will share and ration it, how we will look to the Almighty Father for discipline and strength to endure this transition. Movement come, O Yasharal. There's a time to move and a time to be still. The rise of the 144,000 in great multitude will soon become crystal clear. Yasharal, O oh Yasharal. Sight, hearing, belief, beyond excuses. Next time you greet a brother or sister, ask them, what do you see regarding end times? Where do you see yourself? How much do you see? How clearly do you see? What are you hearing? How does that line up with scripture to your best belief? Discuss these matters, my brothers and sisters. Move beyond excuses. There are those that say, I ain't worried. Y'all gonna take of me. I ain't worried. Y'all gonna do. We're not getting ready to be beamed to the promised land. There is work to be done. There are tasks. There are details. This warning, my brothers and sisters, these instructions come at a cost. How you purchase that cost, how you expense these words will prove to be 
a benefit or a consequence. My name is Tim and I and my brothers and sisters. The sense of urgency to ask questions, the sense of urgency to examine one another, the sense of urgency to begin to embrace the task that the Almighty Father has for you, me, and us is now. On that note, I salute your patience, your tolerance, your pursuit of set of partners. Ask questions, my brothers and sisters. Communicate with one another. Trust that the Almighty Father works in us directly in spirit and through us one towards another. End times are real. The realities of what's unfolding, I cannot stress enough. We have moved beyond types and shadows. On that note, stay tuned. There's much more to come as I have breath, for I know of no other direction to turn but to he who gives me life. And that is Abba Yahuwah. In the name of Yahushua, I come to you. My name is Simonai, and I say to you, O Yasharal, Shalom.